Good morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, I thought of taking a live session for tomorrow's exam. But because of some problem in the system, I am not able to do so. Though I tried my best to reply your comments, your doubts through comment section only. And uh, now a few common comments which were there, I am trying to help you out. Please listen to that and I hope all of you will come with flying colors in tomorrow's exam. The first doubt that most of you have asked is difference between actual parameter and formal parameter. These two we use in user defined functions. So function calling ke time jo parameters hum pass karte hain function ko wo hote hain actual parameters. Formal parameters the in function definition, in function prototype, the variables which you are using, the parameters which you are using, the parameters which are receiving the actual parameters are the formal parameters, right? So in function calling, actual parameters, in function definition, formal parameters are used, right? The next is difference between instance variables and class variables. Both these variables are written outside the function body but within the class. Now instance variables are the object variables. Class variables ko kaise pehchan hoge jis variable ke aage static word likha hai. Static int sum. So this sum will be your class variable. Agar keval likha hai int add then add is instance variable. And instance variable class variables both are written outside the functions and inside the class body. Many of you have asked about the global variable. Children in Java actually there is no concept of global variable. Here we have instance and class variable. The next one is break and continue. Break is used in switch block also. Break is used in other blocks also. Break is used to uh, come out of the current block. It terminates the current block and continue wherever we are giving the continue in the body of the loop then it skips the remaining statement written after continue and the program control is shifted to the next iteration starting from the beginning of the loop right for the next iteration right the next common doubt was for index of function children if we are uh, trying to find the index of the given character and that character is not present in the string then answer will be always minus 1. Children many times in MCQs also I have told you. So one child gave the example committee C O M M I T T E dot index of M comma 4. M is present but from fourth index number it is not present so answer will be minus 1. So either it is not present at all in the string or it is not present from the specified index number the answer will be minus 1. It will never be 0 right because 0 index number to present if the character it cannot be 0 right children. The next was uh, difference between user defined function and constructor. Constructor is also a user defined function only. The difference is that it has the same name as the class name. Constructor never ever returns any value, not even void, right? And constructor is always public. Please refer to the user defined function part two, one video for this. Children in the description box, the entire playlist is given. Please check that. Many of you have asked that whether you can attempt extra question or not. Children here I would like to suggest you first you complete your entire paper, revise it, revise it once, twice and even after that you feel like you have enough time to attempt a question then only go for that, right? Don't do five questions first and then start revising. First, you should be paying attention to the first four programs and section A questions. For the number of times a loop body is executed, especially children were confused for the nested looping statement. Children, for this count, how many times the outer loop will be executed and how many times the inner loop is executed. Suppose the outer loop is executing two times and the inner loop is executing three times. So total number of iterations will be six. Multiply the number of times the outer loop is executing and the number of times the inner loop is executing. Right. But always again like this you find and then dry run. 
dry run i will always suggest to you right then the next one marks distribution for the 15 marks for section b each program children right now your focus should be on doing the correct program with correct syntax and uh, don't focus about the marks distribution about the internal marks how the marks are added how they are calculated that you can check after the exams please right now your focus should be revision and that only i want to tell you right forget about the marks distribution if your work is correct if you are doing correctly definitely you will get the marks okay children my one more suggestion for the selection of the programs for that first choice should be function overloading program if it is present then go for the class program Searching and sorting programs, please prepare for primitive data types and searching and sorting for string also, right? So, one question will definitely be there related to searching and sorting. Then this should be your third program. Then if pattern programs are there, menu driven are there, number programs are there, go for that. Your last question that you should pick is your string program if it is little twisted one if the questions are asked directly number of vowels palindrome reverse string then definitely go for that first right and this selection you should be doing during your reading time utilize your reading time when you get the question paper please focus on that your focus should be entirely that which questions you are going to select just to recall what you have prepared on that particular topic and i know each one of you is going to do very nicely in tomorrow's exam my blessings are with each one of you and few more doubts are there which i'll be clearing through comment section i'll definitely try to clear your doubts one more thing children those who are not there on the telegram channel no problem at all please check the description box the entire playlist is there there i just informed you that next to us what you have to prepare which topic you should be preparing first and everything is available on the channel please go through that watch the videos at 2x speed and here i would like to suggest you that at least first part of each topic you should watch and once you have prepared do some written practice also for variable description table it is must either you give the comment entries or variable description table variable description table is very easy and the links are there in the description box please check that give your best trust yourself and trust leaf classes also and either i'll take uh, the live session tomorrow if possible uh, to discuss the paper or on 29th to discuss further what is required for you what is not what you should be doing how you should plan your holidays what stream you should be selecting that all we will be discussing after your exam best wishes to each one of you my blessings to each one of you and we seek the blessings of god for tomorrow's exam god bless you children and happy preparation do comment in the comment section how you have done your exam all the best bye bye